yun. So, for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to um, enter in VOOB meeting. So, let's say, for example, you are an interviewee or you are going to conduct an interview meeting. Join the meeting for your interview. So, this video is perfect for you. So, I'm gonna show you guys how you are going to enter in the meeting or join in the meeting if your interviewer sent you a link or a VOOB meeting link to enter in your interview. So, since you are not the host in the meeting, you have to click join. Okay? So, when you click join, the VOOB, okay, the VOOB software will ask you for the meeting ID. That meeting ID should be the meeting ID that your um, interviewer or your trainer sent you in in any kind of or in, in your email for example so let's say for example let's gonna use the the okay the code that i used here so for example the meeting id that your trainer okay has given to you was a six five seven zero seven three two and seven three so okay Let's say that is the meeting ID that you that you receive. So you can also edit your name there. You can put your name there. It's up to you. You can put here, for example, Peter. Yes. Okay. So once you change your name, you're done changing it. You have here the settings. Make sure your audio is working. You 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 can you have the option here also to turn on your video or turn on your mic. So beautifier. If you want beautifier, you can click here, and uh, of course you can put some filters on your camera. Okay. So if you put filters, you can just go here in the okay here in the background, and then you can um, customize your background. You click this one and uh, put any pictures that you really want there you can also use this background or blurry background or this background it's up to you guys okay so that's it and also guys um of course before you enter you should make sure that your network is working you can do the network test here so if you test your network you can just click start testing and your network or the software will run okay will run something for to test your network so if okay if everything are okay and normal all green it doesn't have red colors in here then that would be good so you are good to proceed to your meeting session and also you check your audio make sure you are using the right headphones that you have for the meeting and also for the camera you must you should make sure that the camera that you're using is same camera that you that you have so that's all for the beautifier so you can just click join the meeting if you are done with your um, with the settings so just click join and the booth meeting will reroute you to the actual meeting room so you are going to wait for your um for your uh, interviewer there or for your trainer so just wait for it you can just turn off the camera and also you can uh, or you can close your camera and you can turn it on once your interviewer is in class I mean, it's not in class, in the meeting room. Okay? So that's it, guys. Um, to leave the classroom, or to leave the classroom, to leave the meeting room, just click and and leave meeting. Okay? So if you click the end meeting, this window will pop up again. Alright? So that's how you join in the meeting. Now let's proceed now to the next part of this tutorial. Let's say, for example, you are the host of the meeting so how will you going to enter in the meeting room so of course you have to make sure you scheduled a meeting for your interviewee so to schedule a met meeting you have to click this button here schedule and then you can put the name of your meeting here let's say for example um and interview like that and you have to select the date let's say for example the date will be on monday next week so you put your Monday and the start date of your meeting, let's say in the morning at 10. And the duration of your meeting, will it be one hour? Okay. And then you can 
you can change the time zone here. Uh, for the recurring, recurring means that how many times will you going to use this meeting? So since that you will going to have meeting for one hour and uh, you won't you won't be able to meet this interviewer uh, interviewee in your next interview session, so just click never here. And always click other calendars because if you click Outlook, there will be a popping window or um, a silly window that keeps popping up on your screen and it's a hassle for you guys. So, since that, uh, if let's say for example, you have lots of interviewees okay, or attendees, you can put meeting um, enable waiting room there guys so they can just wait for you but i suggest don't put something in there because or, do, or uncheck the enable waiting room so that they can uh, they have the chance to to see themselves in the meeting and uh, also to adjust their uh, camera to adjust their audio so but if you are having classes with your actual student enabling waiting room is advisable i mean it's i suggest you guys to use it because your your next students will wait in the in the waiting room while you're having class with your present student. So that's all. And then you click schedule. And if you click the schedule, that one, okay, or the booth meeting will provide you the meeting ID. Okay, so you are the host. You have to copy the meeting ID and send send this ID to your interviewee for your attendees. Okay, so that's it. So let's say for example you are done with. Um, creating your schedule now let's say for example today is monday now okay and uh, you are going to enter your meeting okay so you're gonna meet your your attendees there so just click enter guys of course and uh, it will reroute it to the actual windows and you can also see there your attendees if they are already in that meeting room so you can just adjust your video you can uh, check your microphone, etc. You can share your screen to them. Okay, make sure to click share audio, share PC audio so that while you are sharing your screen, they can still hear what, okay, what you say. And of course, they can still hear the audio or the audio of the video that you are sharing. Okay, so that's it, guys. You can also record this one. Click record, local recording. If you choose local recording, the... The file of your or the video file will be automatically um, saved in your personal computer. But cloud recording will be online, so it will be upload uploaded online. Okay, or if you have Boob account, then you can upload it online. But since I'm using the free version of the Boob meeting, so um, I cannot use this cloud recording. Okay, so that's it, guys. Um, all right. Uh, if you have any question, just comment your questions below and I'll try my best to answer all of your comments. So I hope this video helps you a lot and thank you and have a nice day.